Welcome back to Reading the Psalms. My name is Dan, and I'm going to read Psalm 56 today. Psalm 56 is of David when the Philistines took him in Gath. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. All the day long he fighting oppresses me. Mine enemies would swallow me up all the day long, for they be many that fight proudly against me. What time I am afraid I would put my trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can flesh do unto me? All the day long they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps, even as they have waited for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In anger cast down the peoples, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Aren't they in thy book? Then shall mine enemies turn back in the day that I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God will I praise his word, in the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do unto me? Thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render thankful thank offerings unto thee, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Hast thou not delivered my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? In this psalm, David is again begging for help with his enemies. This is a typical uh, theme in David's poetry. I don't see any fault in that. There are so many times when I myself feel sad, afraid, or confused, and just wanting the help of God. What struck me in my reading of this today was that David has almost no action. We know David as a warrior, but he has no sword in this psalm. He's not leaping over a wall and attacking the enemy. There is only the petition for God's help. Day after day, throughout this complicated year, This is the message that I have tried to cling to. That I have very little work, very little fighting, very little need for the warrior, but rather petitioning God for help. And this request of God, this act of trust in God, in verse 4, is pretty active. It, It is a work. It is a thing that we do. In God I will praise his word, in God I will put my trust, I will not be afraid. Yet, it is not the activity that this world seems to demand. Let us be ready to trust in God. Read through this again and, and see the action and the work and the, uh, that, that David engages in and that God himself promises to be. Let's read it again. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. All the day longs he fighting oppresses me. Mine enemies would swallow me up all the day long, for they be many that fight proudly against me. What time I am afraid, I would put my trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can flesh do unto me? All the day long they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. Even as they have waited for my soul, shall they escape by iniquity? In anger cast down the peoples, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Then shall mine enemies turn back in the day that I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do unto me? Thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render thank offerings unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Hast thou not delivered my feet from falling? that I may walk before God in the light of the living. The effort to trust in God is a great effort. So let us not pretend that it is inactivity. 
It's just going to look like inactivity from the lenses of the world. In verse 4 and in verse 11, a line is almost perfectly repeated. In verse 4, what can flesh do unto me? And in verse 11, what can man do unto me? I encourage you to read what David says and thinks and feels to build into that question, that rhetorical question that he knows the answer for. What is it that leads David to confidently answer, ask that question, knowing that the answer is, when I am in the hands of God, they can do nothing. Well, thanks for listening in, and I hope to talk with you again soon.